looking at a man named Peter. Peter was an ordinary man. He was trained like all Jewish boys, but at 12, the rabbis didn't think he was cut out to be a scholar. So he became a fisherman. Peter's life and relationship with Jesus offers us hope. Peter often got things wrong. Jesus befriended Peter, taught him and forgave him when Peter denied Jesus. In Jesus' patience and love for Peter, we can see our own relationship reflected with God. God has a job for us all to do. When you fail, he is ready to forgive and pick up and re reconcile with you. When you do things God's way, the path is hard, but you've always got God and God's helper, the Holy Spirit, to rely on. God's story. Peter. So part of God's story is about a guy named Peter, and it goes like this. Peter, who was also called Simon, lived in Capernaum, where he worked as a fisherman. One day, Jesus came up and told him to go into deep water to fish. When Peter obeyed Jesus, he caught so many fish that his boat began to sink. Peter fell at Jesus' feet with amazement. 
Then Jesus said, from now on, you will be catching men. Basically, now that Peter followed Jesus, he could help other people follow Jesus too. After that, Peter and the disciples followed Jesus everywhere. They got to see miracles, hear about the kingdom of heaven, and see what God was like by spending time with his son. Like one night, when the disciples left in a boat ahead of Jesus. Later, Jesus joined them by walking out across the sea. It was dark and stormy, so the disciples thought he was a ghost. Jesus said, it's me. Peter actually stepped out of the boat to go to Jesus, which means he walked on top of the water too. But as soon as he saw the waves, he got scared and started to sink. Jesus caught him and said, why did you doubt me? See, he wanted Peter to trust him even when it made no sense. After all, God is powerful and controls everything. When Jesus climbed into the boat, the disciples worshiped him. But some people did not believe Jesus is God's son, even after seeing his miracles or hearing about the amazing things he did. In fact, they got so mad that Jesus said he's God's son that they had him arrested. Well, even though Peter followed Jesus, he wasn't perfect. So when he realized he could get in trouble just for following Jesus, he pretended he didn't even know him. In one night, he told three different people that he didn't know Jesus at all. What's amazing is that Jesus had told Peter he was going to deny him three times. That means Jesus knew Peter would mess up, and he loved him anyway. And guess what? Jesus feels the same way about us. He told Peter to keep right on following him, and he did. Peter was there when Jesus was killed, when he came back to life, and when he rose straight up into the sky into heaven. Jesus gave Peter and the other disciples a special message before he left. He said, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and give you power. Then you will tell everyone about me in Jerusalem, in all Judea, in Samaria, and everywhere in the world. It's actually a message for all Jesus' followers, which means you and me. Anyway. Peter and the others were waiting for the Holy Spirit together in Jerusalem when a sound like wind came from heaven. Flames landed on their heads. Then they were filled with the Holy Spirit who helps us do things we can't do by ourselves. Right away, the Holy Spirit helped them do miracles. More than 3,000 people chose to follow Jesus that day. Peter and the others who believed in Jesus took care of each other and people in need. Every day, New people saw the way they loved each other and chose to follow Jesus and be part of God's family too. And no matter what happened, even when life got hard, the disciples kept following Jesus. And because they bravely told more and more people about Jesus, we get to know about Jesus and follow him today. And that's the story of Peter. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Peter was a fisherman. He followed Jesus. He showed others how to follow Jesus. Peter saw Jesus was God's son. Jesus helped him walk on water. Peter messed up. Jesus loved him anyway. Peter kept following Jesus and sharing him with others. The Holy Spirit came. Lots of people started following Jesus. News of Jesus spread. We can follow him today. And that's a part of God's story. This is how to make your boat picture. Make a boat and some people. And I've got a bag with some lots of little fish in. You can be creative and make yours look better than mine. Have fun. We can often be like Peter. We can make mistakes get things wrong. God forgives us and like Peter he wants us to follow him. Lord God I just pray that you give the Holy Spirit to these children as a helper. Amen. Why not make a little card, decorate it and inside write trust in God and also in me which is found in verse 14 chapter 1 of John. And then why not on the other side, write what you would do for Jesus. Like it could be singing a song, or being well at athletics, or doing well at school, 
or being a really good friend to someone. Peter trusted God and Jesus and he was able to go out and do amazing things for God. Now to make your cockerel you'll need a half circle which I've doubled over. You'll need a crown, a beak, some eyes, a wing, some feet and a fan tail and then you make your cockerel. See how colourful you can make yours. Have fun making. Today's memory verse is found in Psalms 41 verse 10. I will strengthen you and help you.